Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to start a new series. Not sure about the title yet. Maybe something like mega farms or upscaling farms. The idea is that we take normal Minecraft farms and make them much larger to the limit that the game can't handle it anymore. To see how big we can make a farm and how fast. So in episode one, we're going to take a look at cactus farms. Here in the back, we got yeah, a decently sized cactus farm about yeah one chunk and about 12 layers high produces around 850 cactus per hour and lag is not really an issue with this type of farm we can make this much larger but how large exactly that's the question here i would assume for most minecraft farms size is probably not the limiting factor but lag is but i think the cactus farm could actually be an exception and we should try to make it as large as possible the cactus farm doesn't require any redstone to run all the lag will probably come from the items and we just need to process the items as quickly as possible so they wouldn't you know, require any processing power all right, so in order to find a footprint for the biggest possible cactus farm, I went to our random tick range world again. So if you stand in the corner of a chunk, we'll have the maximum of 208 chunks around the player being random ticked. Any cactus outside of this range wouldn't grow. All right, so let's start upscaling the farm. We're definitely gonna use the full 208 chunk random tick range. It's also pretty convenient that the range is symmetrical, so we can get away with designing only a quarter of the farm and then use Lab Medica to mirror, rotate, clone it to get the full layer. But we got a quarter first. It's also very convenient that the farm that I was using here is pretty much chunk aligned. If you would take a look at this chunk here with the cactus, you can see there is one water source in the middle. So any item that would drop down here would fall through the water source. And the rest of the items that land in the water would take it flushed to the holes we have here. Then we got a second water source in each chunk in the corner. So if you look at this chunk, we have the yeah, same layout or in this chunk with the same layout. So I was able just to clone the chunks over and over again and this wasn't too much work to clone. Okay, so once we're done making a full layer, we can also then put multiple layers on top of each other, like in the example farm. I'm gonna try to not use the nether brick because it would be a little less effort in case you actually wanna build it, but there's actually a point to use the nether brick fence. I was doing tests a couple of years ago, and sometimes it can happen because of the trajectory of the items, they would fall through the gap and land on the cactus below. And some of those items could basically be saved if they would bounce against the nether brick and then fall straight down. So this design with the nether brick fences should be slightly more efficient. All right, here we go with the first prototype of the massive cactus farm. So there's about 200 blocks high and it's absolutely huge. Just look at it. So it goes up about 200 blocks. And if you take a look at it, a full random tick range is now covered just with cactus farm. So there we go. <laughs> absolutely massive so it's at most 256 blocks wide and let's talk about the middle here so because of symmetry i have this two wide yeah, water stream in the middle but it actually doesn't decrease the efficiency so if you would move everything one closer i couldn't fit more cactus in there because if you just look at the chunks again um so if you would move yeah, all of those cacti one over then at the end, yeah, we would also move this one over and then the cactus would just be here, yeah, not exactly on the center of the chunk. But that doesn't mean it could put another cactus down here. So it couldn't do that because, yeah, it, it could do it, but of course it wouldn't grow because it's not within the random tick range anymore. So despite having a two wide water gap in the middle, the yeah, efficiency is not decreased by that. All right, it's time to turn the cactus farm on by setting the random tick speed to the default value of three. Okay, here we go. And the cactus starts growing now. You can also track how the, the yeah, server is basically doing and take a look at the milliseconds per tick. If this exceeds 50, we basically made the farm too large and there's really no benefit of having it that large. Right now, it's looking pretty good. Let's also take a look at the item collection. So a cactus would grow up here, but now for all the way down a couple hundred blocks until it lands in some end portals, which are just placed down for convenience. 
Uh, so the plan would be eventually to have nether portals, but now for the first test, I just put down a layer of end portals, and I actually had to put snow, uh, powder snow on top, because if the items would fall from such a height, they gain so much speed that they could actually fall through the end portal. So the yeah, the snow slows them down. Okay, so let's go to the end dimension, and there I just teleport all the cactus to a yeah setup that measures how many cacti we're actually getting. Okay, so let's take a look at the MSPT again. We're around 30, which is pretty decent. I have to correct myself, the performance is actually pretty bad. So I forgot I was using the performance improvement mod Lithium. Now I kicked it out of my mod folder. I have the performance closer to vanilla. While recording, this also has a bit of an influence. And now the MSPT, while in the old world, is around 110. Pretty bad. It's a bit better if we actually go to the end dimension again. Because currently I am running this in single player. Yeah, and all of the clients I'd like would also affect the uh, performance. But if we go to the end dimension, then the MSPT would be around 72. Something along those lines. So that's something I could also get on the server, for example. We're getting 1.35 million items technically per hour, since the game is already lagging, uh, it would be about a million a bit lower than that instead. So we basically already made the farm too large. I also noticed there are some issues with the farm, they could also negatively affect the results. So if the items land here on the edge, could get affected when they bounce back and forth between the layers. So maybe it's actually a good idea if you put the nether brick fences in there again, because the longer it takes for the item to fall down, the more lag it basically causes. Also, results will be much better if you have more layers in between, where the items are sent to a different dimension. On Psycraft, we actually have access to end portals, so we could build such a farm by placing a lot of end portal frames. Um, but this is only something you can do if you obtain those items in 1.12. So for testing, I'm just gonna uh, make a Cycroft compatible farm now with end portals, and then in the end, we're gonna make one with nether portals as well. All right, so I changed the design for attempt number two. Got the nether brick fences in there again, and we put a layer with end portals, you know, every 25 blocks or every six cactus layer. And this farm is now absolutely huge. So if we stand at the bottom of it, we will have actually issues looking all the way up. Check it out. It now goes from, yeah, you know, basically the bottom of the world to the top of the world. It's almost 400 blocks high. I think this should be probably larger than, than every skyscraper that humanity ever built, just because it's like 256 blocks wide as well. Yeah, absolutely massive cactus farm. All right, so turn the farm on and it basically works out the TPS. Yeah, it's hovering around 20, sometimes it goes a little bit of a buff, but it's something you probably want anyway, in, you know, in order to fully max out a farm. So it says we're getting 2.75 million items per hour. We can also visualize it a little bit better, but just standing in the item stream, look how fast this fills an in inventory. Yeah, so this is probably so large, you probably don't want to have any <laughs> proper item collection of putting those items into shulker boxes or whatever, you probably just want to have the cactus stream here and destroy it. Whenever you need cactus, just come here for a couple seconds. Okay, of course there would be the issue that we yeah, would need to collect those items, but it would actually, with the new minecarts in 1.19, uh, rather easy. You could just dispense a lot of hopper minecarts below and then break those. So uh, the item collection here shouldn't be much of an issue. Of course you couldn't just dispense water because also everything above the obsidian will be deleted. So, yeah, but after Hopper Minecraft, this should actually also be feasible in vanilla. Alright, so I think we've shown that a farm of this size definitely would be vanilla viable. Although we're kind of using end portals, which, well, we got in vanilla, but obviously if somebody would build a farm of this size, they probably would use a performance improvement mod uh, like Lithium. And, yeah, just before curiosity's sake, I also tested the farm out of Lithium, and the uh, MSPT dropped down from a bit over 50 now to around 23 is a huge improvement. Because we would also like to have that in vanilla, but Mojang has other priorities. 
like chat reporting. <laughs> anyway, um, next step is now also try to make a nether portal version. I would predict that this nether portal version would be um, yeah, slightly less performant because it takes a bit longer to get everything into the nether portals. And I'm pretty sure the items going through nether portals would also cause more lag than them going through the end portal because they need to search for yeah, location on the other side. But yeah, let's just try this out. All right, there we go. So I squeezed in some another portals and I tried to make it survival friendly. If you can call a farm like this one here, even survival friendly, but at least we're not using like sliced portals to yeah, reduce the size of the item collection layer. So encouraged by the good results of Lithium, I also only put in a nether portal item collection every 10th cactus layer, because this would be a bit better for the performance, you would have it every fifth. But and of course, you will also get less cactus because uh, there are more of the spaces used for portal collection. So uh, all the items would then yeah, drop down here, fall into the water and just get flushed into portals. Size of farm is also pretty convenient for the portal linking. So the farm is about 256 by 256 and all of those portals can actually link to a single portal Oh, actually, it's three portals in the nether dimension. It's a bit wider than 256, it's actually 258. So that's why I had to use uh, more than one portal basically in the nether. A three wide portal, the nether is enough. All right, yeah, so this is the whole farm. Let's check out the nether side. All right, so let's take a look at the results. So we're getting 2.63 million cactus power now instead of around 2.75. So still within the same range and the performance drops off also a little bit. So while recording, MSPT is usually around 32 to 35 without recording. So a bit better it was mostly around 30 to 32. So pretty good, as you can see, still getting plenty of cactus. Okay, so nether portal version would also be viable. Instead of teleporting the items over, of course, we could also, again, use hopper minecarts. Maybe even send the hopper minecarts back to the old world, so can use a water stream or something like that. So it's definitely feasible to do this. All right, so I think with Lithium, this farm should definitely be viable in case you really want to build it. But we can take a look at the material list as well. So in total, you would need to place 9.42 million blocks to finish the farm. Uh, you would need 4.3 million smooth stone slabs or other slabs, of course. Then 1.1 million cactus and sand, over a million glass or other blocks. Then also a million nether brick fence, over half a million other fences. Then you need to place down almost 100,000 water sources. Usually would use ice, of course, and break that. And then 70,000 obsidian as well, and around 40,000 birch fence gates or signs. So that's definitely quite some effort. All right, so I think it's fair to say this is the largest possible cactus farm in the current Java version of the game. So it's the full random tick range, 208 chunks built from bottom to the new sky limit, almost 400 blocks high. By the way, in older versions of the game, 1.8 and lower, the random tick range was different. So it wasn't this 128 block limit, it was basically all the chunks that are within the render range. Technically in older versions of the game, we can make an even larger farm, but currently in Java, at least we're limited here. All right, guys, so my friend Pepper showed me how I can organize my better. And in the last two weeks, I grinded this out in hardcore survival and built the whole thing in a normal Minecraft world. By the way, I also used update suppression here for the smooth edges. This definitely wasn't pacey with Labmedica. Jokes aside, no, I just wanted to see how this actually looks in a yeah actual survival world, normal terrain generation. Yeah, this would be absolutely massive. Um, we are discussing right now in SciCraft if we would attempt to build such a farm. But the biggest farm we've built so far was the mushroom farm perimeter. The farm itself was 1.5 million blocks and we spent a lot of time for the decoration as well. But this would be a whole another scale. Um, not sure if we should actually attempt this. We could then maybe also think about hmm, maybe some machines that would help building it because it's so repetitive. For example, the cactus and sand layer. There's probably ways to actually optimize this somehow. But yeah, maybe we'll try to do something like this, but this will definitely be a project that would take several years to achieve on the Sycroft server. All right, that's all for today. Hope you liked the video in case the response is good. I'm definitely gonna make more like this one here, where I just take a farm concept and upscale it until we run into lag issues or there's no more space available.
Thanks guys for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.